We got the oak, maple in the middle. That's easy to remember, right? And cherry over there. That band, How Bizarre, OMC. Oh. How Bizarre. How Bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> that song's cool. We're trying something a little different here today in the Western Wisconsin Whiskey Emporium. I'm Dan. And I'm Eddie. And we're the Deathless Dogs. We're not necessarily doing a review of whiskey itself. This is going to be like a product review, which we've never done before. And that product would be the Bourbon Bullet. If you're the social media type, which you probably are if you're watching this, and you like follow whiskey pages and stuff, the algorithm may have been throwing this into your like ads that you see. It's the bourbon bullet, and basically what it is is a little bullet-shaped piece of wood that you're supposed to drop into a bottle of whiskey, and then you're basically aging slash infusing it with the flavors. Right. of said piece of wood so i just thought it was kind of interesting and clicked on it because it's like you know it's just a fun experiment this is going to kind of be a two-parter video the first half will kind of show you what's going on drop the stuff in and then we'll have to wait about a week or so and then film the results and what we think of them bourbon bullet made by battleground farms that's a uh, company owned by a u.s marine corps veteran i believe the uh, kind of cool thing with this is when you purchase it, a portion of your money goes to veterans' causes. Okay. So like at checkout, there was three different ones I could choose from where I wanted the money to go, like the percentage. And the one I chose, forget the name of it off the top of my head, but it was a uh, helping like post 9-11 veterans transition to life after yeah. war, basically. Which you know all about. Yeah. I think it's a little funny that this is a Marine-owned company. Because one of the only times I was shot at overseas was by a Marine. So <laughs> Friendly fired. Let's, yeah. <laughs> let's bring on the bourbon bullets. Yeah. I got the three-pack. Now, are these different levels of char? They're different kinds of wood. Oh. And I think one of them is way more charred. Um, so the three I got, we have an oak, and that one seems to be really charred and black. We real, can, you real, pull it out of the thing. Real there. burned up. Yeah. Uh, there's also uh, maple, which does have some char. Oh, yeah, this one's leaving residue on my fingers. Yeah, see, that Just... one's super charred. Yeah. And then the third kind, which I'm actually the most excited about, is cherry. Fancy. And this is because... I worked at a cabinet factory for a couple months, and my job was sanding drawer boxes, and one of the woods we used was cherry. And if you know anything about cherry, it burns really easily. It's very soft um, compared to, like, the oak and other woods we were using. But it smelled awesome when you nice. sanded it. Well, if you can get some of that smell into the bourbon, right. I'm sure it's going to be legit. That's kind of why I have hopes for it. They give you, like, the directions, just basic directions on the side. Drop it into your favorite whiskey or bourbon. Take a sip each day until desired results. Three to four days. Use it again in two or more bottles. So it's saying in about three or four days it should do its thing. But I don't know how we get it back out of the bottle if we're like, oh, this is perfect. I feel like it's just kind of in there until the whiskey's gone. How then would it's we... going to keep aging. Right. I think we got to pull them. But I think we got to go more than three or four days. Well, we're going at least a week. Yeah, you got to really let that wood get in there. It'll be at least a week before we're back in here to film. It says to put in your favorite bourbon, but I think that's kind of silly because your favorite bourbon probably doesn't need anything else. You want to put it in something also I think that isn't like bad. Right. Because I don't think it's going to like be a miracle worker that's going to turn Kentucky Deluxe into <laughs> Eagle Rare or right. something. Yeah. You want to go with like a baseline, like middle of the road, decent whiskey. Yeah. And then obviously it's a bourbon bullet. So we got to go bullet bourbon. It just makes sense. So we have our three bottles of bullet for the three bullets to go into. Right. And we also have a fourth control if nothing else it'll be just kind of a fun experiment i think from uh their website i saw like they had a video that when you put it in it probably floats at first and then it'll soak and drop and like okay. they were kind of saying when it sinks it's probably ready quad, quad bottle, bottle pop popping <laughs> this year be maple so hopefully in a week these will all have submerged to the bottom of the bottle we have our oak 
We have our maple and our cherry. And in one week's time, we will repop the bottles and see uh, what we're dealing with. Yeah, hopefully it's, you know, noticeable. It's been... It's been... One week. Almost one week exactly. We put them in at 9.37 p.m. on January 23rd, 2021. It is now 9.49, Saturday, January 30th. It's been one week and 12 minutes. <laughs> so we're going to try these and see if anything has changed. Uh, you'll note, we might have to spin around. They did say within three to four days you should see results and that the bullet should sink. Cherry and oak have not sunk at all. Maple did sink to the bottom. I was telling Dan it gets cold in here and I wonder if the wood got real firmed up and... Not so porous. Poor control to our left, just straight up bullet, nothing changed or anything. It was popped at the exact same time as these other guys. All right, should we start out with the oak? The oak was the most visibly charred. And it's still floating. Don't pour out the bullet. Let's nose the control, the regular bullet. Classic. I mean, it's just classic bourbon. There is a slight spice in there. Heavy vanilla, though. Heavy vanilla. Almost, you know, bucket ice cream it's, vanilla. It's very, um, smellable. All right, let's nose the, uh, the charred oak. The charred oak, nosing it. And it smells slightly maybe different, I guess. Not, not as Not sweet. as vanilla. Yeah, not as sweet. It has an oakiness to it now. But I don't know if that's just because I know there was an oak bullet sitting in They're it. They're very similar, though. I mean, it's not all that much different on the nose. Do you know how, like, wet cash smells? Like, it kind of reminds me of that. The, the one with the bullet. Yeah. I can pick up what you're putting down there, I suppose. Let's sip on the control first. Control sipping. Smooth and bourbony as it ever was. Very sweet. All set. Very drinkable. Very crushable, I would say. Yeah. Let's go for the Oak Boy. I'd say it's a little different. It's a little different. It cut the sweetness. Was that what it did? Yeah. More oaky. More drying. I could maybe agree with the... I mean, dry idea. It cuts the honey, but I think it brings out the cloves right. a little bit. A little bit of that herbalness kind of gets right. accentuated. Not a vast difference. It's noticeable if you knew that something happened to it. I feel like if we gave the, these two to people completely blind and they didn't I would know, think it tastes very similar. They'd be it. like, yeah, I mean, it seems like the same. I don't know. Here's what I think we need to do with oak. Let it sit for another week. Okay. The bullet hasn't sank. No. The bullet still floats. Maybe we re we relocate where we stored them. So Put that them maybe, in there. Maybe it's away from the cold a little bit more. Maybe it gives the wood pores a chance to open up. It didn't no, make it, it bad. It didn't ruin the bourbon, and I'm happy about that. We're going to remove this from the equation, and we're going to let it age for another week, I think. Now, Dan, did that taste like a... More than $20 bottle to you. That's kind of the claim, is we're taking mm. low-shelf bourbon and taking it up to top shelf. No, I'll say the oak did not do that. A little maple. Reset my sniffer to the old control, and I'm going to go to the maple. Ooh, a little bit different. That's what I'm saying. Like, it changed the smell. I think it almost brought, like, corn to the table. Like, that's different. It brought a freshness out. You know what I mean? Like fresh, leafy greens almost. Like you're talking like a little bit more of that vegetal freshness. Round it off. Round it off the vanilla. So it's not just like vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. It's... I'm getting some corn or something. There is something cool going on in terms of the smell in comparison to the control. Let's uh, clink them and drink them. It's different. But I wouldn't say it's a positive change. <laughs> The lingering flavor actually wasn't bad. No. Like, think caramel, burnt, you know, like, almost like a creme brulee, like, flavor that kind of lingers. This is going to be really niche, but it makes full sense to me. It tastes like the inside of my drums smell, because my drums are made of maple. And when I take them off and change the heads... Next time I do it, I'll let you smell it, and you'll be like, that's what it tastes like. It I mean, tastes like maple wood. It really does. It tastes like the inside of my drum. Do you hate that, or do you like that? I don't hate it. I think it, like, brought forward, like, some caramel notes it's to the me. control. Like, it, it diluted a bit of the clove. Right. 
Right. But not completely. And I think that's where the clash is, is that Maple might not agree with... The clove of the bullet. It tastes like the inside of my drum smell. I almost want to go crack open the drums so you can smell it right now. It's different. And this is an old drum. This is old. Hello, hello, hello. Get in there. I gotta get your breath out of there. Sorry. All right, I'm gonna take a drink. Yeah. I mean, that's what it is. It's, it's like, take a drink and then smell in there. Okay. I actually kind of understand where you're coming from there. Right. Based on the smell. This is the only bullet that sank. So it might be the only bullet that did its job. And it's different than regular bullet, but I just don't know. Final bottle is the cherry. This is the one that I had the highest hopes for based on working in a cabinet factory. This sank the least. It's still poking the cork. Oh, the, the bullets started to come out. See, that's a problem. That's the most floatable cork. I will say, though, pouring it, I'm getting a cherry vibe just from the table. Let's smell the control <laughs> just first. Just from the table. All right, I'm going to go to the cherry. It, like, weirdly brings out, like, a citrus note, which came out of right field. Or is it left field? It didn't mute any of the other f smells, I don't think. I still get heavy vanilla. Uh, I still get maybe a little less clove, like the orange is competing with the clove, but it just brought through oranges. It's weird, but yeah. yes, like it became... Cherry wood became orange. Florida citrus. Blank them and drink them. There is some cherry that comes through right at the end. It plays with the vanilla sweetness. It reminds me a lot of the oak, though. It, the difference to me is negligible. It's not substantial. I think we let him sit another week. We're going to leave him one more week, and we'll check back in with you then. All right, two weeks have passed now. We're 30 minutes short of these being in the bottles for exactly two weeks. And oak and cherry still have not sunk. So it makes me wonder how well it's filtering the bourbon. So we're going to taste the oak and cherry to see if there's any difference all right so we're going to start with oak i imagine now something that i'm looking for here is i want to see between the control and the oak bullet if there's like a color change at all doesn't appear to be so no i don't see any difference try the control again just to get our baseline you know i've drank more bullet in the last two weeks than i have in years i'm starting to learn that it's got its own distinct flavor actually well it's getting a fruitier nose on the oak bullet. it's more faint i think on the oak bullet what would you define that fruit smell to be i don't know almost like a sour apple or something i'll taste it and see it is different it's different and it's funny you mentioned sour apple because it actually kind of comes across as sour mm -hmm. apple and the finish has changed like with regular bullet that finish isn't really bitter. I get a lot of clove and herbal type notes, a little bit yeah. of floral aspects. The finish on this one might actually bring some of that traditional bourbon bitterness. So a change has occurred. Would you call that change an improvement, lateral move, or a demerit? Probably like a lateral move. Like it, it's different, but it's not so different that it hasn't like gone to the top shelf like they advertise in the video. Yeah, I would agree. There's a definite change as far as it being better. I think I'd agree that it's probably more of a lateral move. Right. Still drinkable. I'll still drink it for sure. Now you were, I think, at the beginning of the review the most excited about the cherry wood. Right. The cherry. The least submerged of all bullets. Dan's going back and forth between the control and the cherry. I'd say there's a slight difference on the nose. Not anything like game changing. Right. Slight difference though. I'm almost strangely getting some butteriness. It's faint, but it's like, it's the most buttery nose that I've smelt out of the control as well as these three. Yeah, I could see like, yeah, a buttery kind of... Um, I think this is the most pleasant of the noses we've experienced thus far. Regular Bullet almost has like a cotton candy sweet nose to me. Like very sweet. The cherry... Tamps that down a little bit, like you said, like, yeah, now that you said it, there's a butteriness, like toast with butter and jam kind of thing going yeah. on. That's changed. 
That one has changed. Remember when we did the old tub review and we kind of talked about like the fruit cups? Like I'm getting that similar old tub like fruit cup vibe on this one. Especially compared to the control, the regular stuff. There's no clove notes anymore. Yeah, the herbal nature of the like regular bullet has been pushed down. Not necessarily like cherries though, like you'd think from cherry wood. It's it is more of a almost a pear white grapey kind of, you know, light colored There fruit. is slight cherryness. It's not any one specific fruit. It does just kind of taste like fruit cocktail. Fruit punchy kind of, you know. Yeah. Not that like not like Hawaiian punch like making your teeth itch. So sweet. <laughs> it's woody, but it's not oak. It's but it's like wood. The finish does almost remind me of sanding the cabinets, like I said. So it's, that smell. It's that cherry wood, I think, and it, it gives it a bit of grittiness almost mm -hmm. that the other ones don't have. But I don't think it's a bad thing. Yeah, no, I mean I don't mind it. It's it's hard to make sense of what actually is happening here. It's not bad, but again I'm kind of thinking lateral transition. I would say it has improved it slightly for the application of like a cocktail. I think this would go well with like a Manhattan. Oh yeah. Um, I could see it in old fashion, of course. As far as just standard sipping, I again, it's different but not like not like a, an improvement or a detractor. All right, so bullet bourbon. Typical MSRP in or around 25 bucks. Would you spend $25 on the Cherry Wood Bourbon Bullet Bullet Bourbon? Yeah. I would. Would you spend more than $25? I don't think it's enough of a change that they could sell it themselves as like a limited release. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, you couldn't be like a bullet with like a bright red label, like cherry wood bullet, and they put it out and sell it for 35 I don't think there's That's enough of a change <laughs> no, to I, warrant that. I agree with that statement wholeheartedly. Uh, it, it hasn't moved it to the top shelf. No. I mean, granted, it's like you're selling something, you got to make some claims to try to sell it. I don't think it's moved it out of bullet price range. It hasn't moved it up to, like, the bullet store pick I have at home. That's, right. That's great. Like, I, that's a really great bottle. Bourbon Bullet. The three pack of these is twenty five ninety five. You can buy them individually. Like, the would you buy it again? I don't know. This is hard. Because this is like our first product review. Would I buy this three pack again? No, because I've already bought it and I've seen what it does. I would say oak. I'd consider buying that again. Would you buy an oak one again? You can get a single oak bullet for 11 bucks. And then remember, portion of it going to veterans' causes and things and like that. And as a veteran myself, right. you know, I'm not going to blast. Like, I feel like I'm biased anyways. Portion of the proceeds goes to help veterans. I'm a veteran. This is a veteran-owned company. Right. I was shot at by Marines. These are bullets. So, so um, that's, that's, that's a little bit. Well, you were going like. This is why I like it. This is why I gotta like it. This I did. And there's also they all tried to kill me. So, I mean, no, I'm not trying to blast them. I think they're, like, on to something. I might try it again just to see if maybe, like, it's the winter air in Wisconsin that kind of closed up the wood pours. Maybe it needs to be summer here. Oak, I'm not sure that I would buy the just the plain oak again. Maple, I would not buy again. Absolutely not for the maple. No. Cherry is the only one that I would consider buying again because now knowing what it tastes like, I feel like it had the most impact on the flavor and knowing what it did to this, say you take this and you pair it with a bottle of Old Tub, you know, oh, as we yeah, were that mentioning. Could be real cool. Potentially that's going to take an Old Tub next level. But yeah, of the three, Cherry I think was the winner. I would wholeheartedly agree with that. From the Western Wisconsin Whiskey Emporium for ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. This is Major Tom to Ground Control. You really made the grade. And my spaceship seems to know which way to go. Major Tom, your circuit's dead. There's something wrong. 
What the hell are the lyrics there? Shit. 